Hi, this is Chris Lavin from Extreme Polishing Systems. We are here today and we are going to be showing people how to densify and how to seal a concrete floor. Um, this is called our Green X system. Um, this is a way to enhance a concrete floor, maybe that hasn't been ground and polished already. If you have a, a, a floor you want to have cleaned up, this is considered to be a topical polish. Um, a lot of companies out there are just looking to have a low budget type uh, enhanced concrete floor and this is a great way to provide that to them. This uh, would sell probably for a dollar to a dollar and a quarter a square foot. Um, over here in the States I have no idea what it would be like over in Europe but we have our friends from uh, Belgium that are going to be helping us densify the floor today. Yes. Carmen and Thomas and we have the professor Keith Lee that's going to show us exactly how to do the uh, extreme hard densifier. The extreme hard densifier is right here. This is a colloidal silica super nano technology uh, proprietary blend of densifier that you can only buy at Extreme Polishing Systems. Originally, I tried a lot of different densifiers out there. The lithium silicates. I tried potassium silicates. I tried blended silicates. Uh, when my chemical engineer developed this product for us, okay, when I explained to him what we were doing, uh, concrete, you have to understand, is basically a rigid sponge. There's many capillaries that are going through uh, the concrete and what you're trying to do is after we take the cream of the concrete off the floor normally with a, with a metal bond diamond when you are polishing and doing the process the actual uh, all the capillaries of the concrete are open okay so what you want to do is you want to get in there and you want to cure that top quarter inch of concrete which is what the densifier is supposed to do besides locking down color if you're using color remember if you're putting down color if you have a super porous concrete floor you may want to densify first to try and make that substrate harder, okay, and then put the color on top of that. But if you have a harder floor, you always want to densify after you put the color down, which is going to help keep the color locked into the floor. So Extreme Hard is a great user-friendly product. It's water-based. It's LEED um, certified. So if people are going for LEED points, this is a great product for them to use in their buildings, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take part of this and we're going to fill it up. Four to one mix. So you make sure you have four parts water to every part of densifier. The densifier is concentrated. We make it that way for a reason. Why do we have concentrated products? So you don't have to pay for all the shipment. You want to go up a little bit more, halfway. A little bit. Yeah, you want to go. Uh, you don't want to have to pay for all that water to ship. I hate spending money frivolously on shipping, okay? And you should too. Yes. So it's very easy to get uh, potable water, four parts to one part of our concentrate, okay? So the densifier, it's all mixed up here. You're going to take this and you are going to just pour it over the concrete here and then you're going to be our uh, microfiber uh, Right here. Just pour it over. Yeah, we're gonna pour it right yeah, over. Yeah, you don't want you don't want to pour out a lot of it, but you want to you know just. There you go. Very good. Okay, so that's good. And we're gonna we're gonna do the whole the whole slab here. We're gonna move this back. Push it around, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. we we need you to densify for us, man. That was a good. <laughs> you gotta get that in in, in instant. Slow That's really good. We're going to be watching it for a while. This is going to dry. Yeah. But the, the one thing, how you know it's active, is, is you can kind of tell how the product's starting to gel, how you can see our footprints. Yeah, which we're going to take care of. You want to keep, 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 keep activating it, okay? Keep working it into the concrete. See how it's gelling? Can you tell, Conrad, that it's gelling? Yeah. Okay, what we have here now, uh, the, the process, we just, we just densified the floor. You guys saw how the, the densifier gelled, it reacted. It's filling in all those little microscopic pores. After you let the 
floor dry, which normally takes about 20 minutes, okay? If you need a little help of a fan, if you're in a climate that doesn't seem to be uh, too dry, it's real humid, blow a fan on it. But you want to make sure your floor is completely dry uh, and it's not tacky so that when you go on with the next step, you're going to get the result you're looking for, okay? What we have here is we have our, our the, the Rolex pads, okay? The Rolex pads come in 400, which is red. You have the uh, 800, which is blue. You have the 1500, which is yellow, and then you have 3000, which is green. So it's kind of like a kind of like a stoplight, you know what I'm saying? Like red is stop, so we have that as the lowest grit, and then you know blue. We just created blue because I like that color. Blue is my favorite color, and then 1500 is like the yellow light, and 3000 is like get, get up and go, buddy. Okay, so we have the 400 we put on here. Very easy to take these on and off. Um, you got lots of little prickly things on the bottom that this stick to. And you did an excellent job of showing us how to do that. So you're, you'll change the 800 also. But you're also, you've never burnished a floor before, correct? Correct, yeah. So this is a first time event, okay? Yeah. Only seen on Extreme Polishing Systems channel here, by the way. Anyway, so go ahead. We're gonna show them how to put the machine up there, Keith, for them. Yep. All right, there you go. Get your green light, put your pop that on there. Hit the, hit the green button down, there you go. All the way up, 18 minutes. Down, okay, and just walk this right down. Just notice how quiet the machine is. It's a, ten, it's a 10 horsepower machine. Very easy to stand behind these machines. I don't have to yell over it or anything like that. Very easy to steer and maneuver, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's great. The propane one, you gotta worry about that loud noise, you know what I'm saying, the whole day. Thomas is going to demonstrate now since he's never done this before. Okay, you just ran the 400 grit. Yeah. You know, saying we, we don't have a vacuum on this particular unit, so it, it did cause a little bit of dust. Okay. Just a little, yeah. But um, we will have vacuums that we're going to be making on these. Uh, we're going to put the 800 now in place of the 400. Okay, so we've already done the 400 Rolex pad. We've done the 800 Rolex pad. So far, the floor is getting some nice gloss back from the, from the actual densifier itself. But now we're gonna do a coat of Extreme Shield down after the 800, and, it, and then we're going to put another coat down after the 1500. So we're gonna be following with a 1500 pad and a 3000 pad. This is Extreme Shield, the best guard product on the market bar none. Um, and once you guys use this product and see it, you'll, 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 you'll soon be a big fan too. Uh, this product is a two to one mix ratio. Uh, so we're gonna do this a quart, so this is gonna make us a gallon. We're gonna pour that in here, the full quart. And Professor Keith is gonna take his 64 ounces of potable water here. He's gonna pour that in there. All right. So any type of a good sprayer will, will do for what we're gonna do here. A little bit of mix there. That should do it. We're going to spray this pad here, and we have Thomas and Conrad are going to be. Yeah. Why don't you push this, and Conrad, you can spray the. 
solution. It's all pumped up? It's all pumped and ready to go. So you want you want to get the bottom of the microfiber pad first. wet first. So spray that good first. There we go. Get it good. A little bit more. There we go. You can pump that and a little then bit just, more. You're gonna start you're gonna start somewhere and you're gonna we're gonna watch how they do it in Europe. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna go straight. Just go straight across as he's doing that. You got enough room, and he could just keep giving you pass down. Yep. You don't want to step in it. He do the same in Europe. Yeah, Dave says he do the same in Europe, man. Amazing. He watched the videos. Oh, you've been watching the videos. Okay, I got you. Yeah, make it so it's streak free, it's nice, even, rose. Yeah, a little bit more is okay, even. Just a little, little more, more, yeah. Just want to have nice rows. Okay, we are now going to be putting on a 1500 grit diamond pad, replacing the 800. On the insides of these pads, you guys can take these off and you can put these on your hand grinders so when you're burnishing the floor, if you want to make a little pop on the on the edges, you can put this on your hand grinder backer pad and you can use that. We tell you like like people to scrunch them up a little bit, it gets them uh, more pliable. Mm -hmm. it, it, it adheres to it better on the bottom too. Yep. All right, Thomas is going to change this one. and where he hasn't made his pass. Alright, so far we're moving along. You're starting to get a really nice reflective shine to the floor. We're now changing. This is a 3000 grit, which is a green pad. And Tom's going to change off the 1500 pad for that. We're going to put our yeah. next coat of sealer down and then we're going to finish the floor off. Alright, so let's pump, let's get that pump spray and we're going to knock it down. Dave, you want to? Yeah, pump it up again. with the floor here we've got this floor up to a 3,000 grit shine and what do, you, what do you think of the floor so far it's beautiful very shiny so. a little bit more shiny than what they like over in Europe though huh? yeah, yeah that's correct uh, anyways this machine here um, there's a similar electric machine that's made actually in Italy by uh, Kleindex. by Kleindex yes mm -hmm. it's called the hurricane they sell their unit for almost twelve thousand dollars okay originally when I saw that they were selling their unit for twelve thousand dollars I'm like oh my god who can possibly afford that so once again, I put my uh, intuitive and value engineering mind together and tried to figure out how we can make a machine affordable basically to everybody that, that, that wants to get into this business, right? It shouldn't have to cost you your left arm and your right arm. No pun intended, okay? <laughs> Anyways, uh, this machine here, uh, we premiered actually for $7,995. You know, we had it under, mm -hmm. the, under, the, under the bar where it needed to be. 
We got some of them out on the marketplace. We had good reviews on the product. Uh, we made some changes to them, value engineered the machine a little bit more. We're now making some quantity on these machines. I'm gonna have 24 of these units here in Florida ready for delivery come February the 15th. Um, these units we are going to do on a first time, first come, first serve basis for $3,995, which is half the price of what we premiered for, $79.95. Um, so everybody can afford this machine. It's a residential machine, it's a commercial machine. It's single phase 220. You need a 40 amp breaker for this machine. It's a 10 horsepower, so you need 40 amps. It's not like the Genie 30 amp. Anyways, dial the number below on the screen. Uh, pick up the phone if you want one of these, call me. They're gonna go very quick. First come, first serve basis. We'll be making some more of them, obviously. Um, and obviously we're gonna be shipping some of these over to Europe, so uh, they'll be ready uh, with the EU, uh, whatever the electrical currents are, are that are needed for and required for your area over there. But anyways, thanks again for joining us here at Extreme Polishing Systems channel, and uh, stay tuned for many more exciting videos coming for the new year.